The answer is it requires me to completely trust Colleen. Colleen knows that I'm giving a message to her, and she can open that message and know that it goes to Alice. It doesn't require the first one. If Bob sees me talking with Colleen, presumably that's not a problem. It doesn't require the second. If Bob sees Colleen talking with Alice, that's also not a problem. If Bob sees both of those and sees them in quick succession, especially if he sees the envelopes being handed on, well, then he's got a good reason to suspect that I'm talking with Alice. So we need both of these properties. We need to know that Colleen can be trusted, and we need to know that Bob can't see both of these transactions. Those are pretty high security assumptions. We don't want to have to trust Colleen completely, and we don't want to rely on the fact that Bob can't see these two conversations. So the way to make it more secure is to add a third person. Let's say we know Edgar as well. And now instead of giving the message directly to Colleen, what I'm going to do is take the envelope for Colleen, put that inside an envelope for Edgar. We need to fold things a little to make them fit. And now I'm going to seal this envelope with a very secure seal that only Edgar can open. So now I'll give this envelope to Edgar. Edgar will open it. See that it has a message for Colleen. Edgar will give the message to Colleen. Colleen will open that. See that it has a message for Alice. Give the message to Alice, and Alice will open the message. And see that she shouldn't eat the onion. This has more protection. Now Colleen doesn't know that I'm communicating with Alice, because the message is going like this. It's going first to Edgar, then to Colleen, then to Alice. So neither Edgar nor Colleen knows that I'm communicating with Alice. Edgar knows that I'm sending a message through him that goes to Colleen. Colleen knows that she's receiving a message from Edgar and it's going to Alice. Neither one knows both endpoints. If we add enough hops, this can start to be quite secure. And this is actually called onion routing. That's why the message is to not eat the onion. And the name comes from the idea that an onion has all these layers. And as you peel off the layers, you get deeper into the onion. So doing this with envelopes would be pretty painful. We want to do this with math. So how do we do this with cryptography? 